Welcome to Filthy Licks with Sean Daniel and Cody Cook. Where the only thing filthy in this licks is the hipster fixed gear bicycle scene in East Austin. That's filthy, man. Mm. How about we get right to it and show the people the filthiest lick on base? All right. It's super simple, but it is the foundation for some of the most famous slap bass licks ever. And it's a starting point, a launch pad, if you will, that you can add on endlessly. And it'll, mm -hmm. But this will be the foundation of every or almost every slap lick. Very simple. We're going to get right into it. Using what we used in a previous video, yeah. if you haven't seen it yet, definitely I'll, start there. I'll do signal chain, Rickenbacker, going into a Dark Glass B7K Ultra Pedal, direct in. Uh -huh. Sounds really good. It's filthy. Well, we're gonna, yeah, really nice. Probably need to get one, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but where we're at here, same thing we're working on, the slap and the pop. And in that video, I was really trying to hit home the fact that so much of the control comes in the opposite hand, as a matter of fact, your left hand, if you're a right-handed player. And that was because I was knowing that this lick was coming. And it's the left hand is such a fundamental part of this lick. Really simple. <laughs> Let's hear the lick first. Just All get right. it, just get it. I'm gonna play the lick in some different ways I wanna show it. Cool, awesome. As it's groove oriented, as it's setup oriented. And it's really simple, it's something like this. That's filthy. Yeah, that really? was so filthy. Really, simple. I need a shower. Mm. Damn. <laughs> all right, all it is, it's really, really simple. And I was doing different versions of it. I was doing like a slow, dragging, kind of like a Marvin Gaye kind of feel to it. Mm -hmm. And then I was also using it really snappy to set up a lick that would otherwise be very simple. Okay. All right, really simple. I, if I say simple one more time. <laughs> Slap, get a little bit of a texture of a beat with your left hand. Okay. Slap. Pop. So when you come down with your left hand, what are you what are you actually hitting? I'm. It's just I'm using like the fat of my fingers mm -hmm. to create a noise. Okay. It's nothing more than that. You're not even aiming. You're going it's, towards the fret. It's just it's, it's just my hand. Eh, just, <clears throat> just dead fishing the fretboard. It's it's nothing. And that's why like I need to make sure, like sure I'm emphasizing that it's it's nothing. It's not okay. A technique that was bestowed upon it's me. Not like oh, I need to hit like the the major nine interval in this spot two, two millimeters yeah. off the uh, next fret or else it sounds like, no. It no, just that's not how filth works. It's not. It's just it's supposed to be kind of gritty, man. Mm -hmm. And you'll you'll eventually clean it up. But like so again, slap, hit, slap, pop. All right. So again, slap the E string. Dead fish the string Dead set. Fish it, yeah. Hit the same string again uh -huh. with the thumb, and you're coming off with a pop. Who was the first bass player to use the dead fish term? Me. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was Sting. No, you're looking at it. I'm <laughs> cool. I like it. Yeah, so that's, that's it. But there's it's just a launching point. I can't. I, I'm gonna show you some different ways of how it's a launching point. Mm -hmm. So let's take that lick I was doing. It goes back to that G minor chord we were using in the earlier video. Love it. And again, it was just all in the same fret. I love it. So I'm I'm first using the lick in more of a slower motion mm -hmm. to kind of like set up the chord I'm doing. Because there's one way to play it, and that's it's a chord all together. Cool. Here you go. Okay. Uh -huh. Or I'll do that lick, but this time the only difference is instead, and that's why I was really emphasizing that you really should learn how to pop with both fingers, one for the D string, one for the G string, leading up to this lick. So the only difference is I'm gonna slap, right? Yeah, so I have the E string. Now, but since I'm using that dead fish hand mm -hmm. to do other notes, yeah. I don't really have that I don't really have that option here. No. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use kind of the fat of our thumb to do it. Okay. So or another way to do it, if it's if the if it works, we're an open string, which is like the best friend of slap players, mm -hmm. you can use, use also use an open string if it works for you to make the difference to okay. up as well. Alright. So you know let's probably do that because it's probably gonna be a little more simple. All right, all right. So I'm gonna hammer an open E, and then the dead fish part, if you will, is I actually gonna it. be love it. my middle finger hitting it's the so third fret. Man. So it goes, it goes, open E, hammer on third fret, mm -hmm. and then another slap, another slap. Ba -da -da. There you go. Make sense? Got it. Not too complicated. Ba -da -da. But now it's time for our snare. Ooh. 
and that's where we're gonna use our two fingers to pop your remaining part of the chord. This, it's about to get filthy here. It works on any chord, and I'm gonna show other ways to do this in a more melodic musical sense as opposed to like a funky, like soulful one. Mm -hmm. So again, hammer on. So let's use it as like a groove, just. Mm, so filthy. Now we're gonna add like a really simple lick to this. Cool. Here's how simple it is. It's just gonna be on the very last string, third fret to fifth fret. It's gonna be a little pawn. That's it. Just hammer on. That is it. That's like the, the bare essential. That's barely a lick. That's hard. That's, just, that's barely a taste. Right. But I'm gonna show you how it becomes almost the most important part of this. Okay. So we saw me doing a slower version of it. Kind of has a little funky feel. Mm -hmm. Very can, slow. I can hear where it's coming. Right. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna do a, we're gonna do the exact same like nothing changes. Back to the dead fish. Right? Yep. But it's gonna be to set up this. So I'm gonna do it fast after doing it slowly for the groove. So okay. it's gonna serve two purposes. One for the groove and one for the leg. Mm -hmm. Right? Ready? I'm, I don't know if I'm ready yet. Oh, that's fine. Oh. No, it's too filthy. You can't do you can't change chords and do that on a different chord, can you? There's no way. Oh. It can't get filthier than that, can it? Oh. That's terrible. So filthy. And again, nasty. Even, I need like an Irish spring truck. Yeah. To just back into the driveway and just. Sure. Sun me up. Sun me up. And even that last look, it's the same thing. And instead of, and uh, it's the same thing. We're just going from uh, uh, um, an F to a G. See, and it always kind of works. It's so you. simple. It is, but it just, but when you do the. Yeah. It's filler to get you where you're going. Again, it's just filler. So the lick we already learned, it's just faster. And you'll get there. For sure. Even if you have to do it super slow, metronome could be a good idea. Right. Maybe. Because that, that's the thing about doing something slow and then something fast into something. It's hard to keep the same time when you're working on it. Oh, for sure. And like for the record, playing something slow, for me, oh, yeah. is 10 times harder than playing something fast. So hard. Yeah. Because like the, my muscle memory wants to go, but when I... I have to emphasize the, the, the I have to emphasize yeah. thing being you very clean. You have to think about it. And right. it's not a, that's kind of a different chain thing. reaction. Uh -huh. Right. So this is a very simple lick, and it's going to work in everything, even with nothing, for instance. Oh. So you just have, so maybe maybe your, your drummer is just giving you groove or you're practicing to something, and you know, you're on that groove, and maybe it doesn't need a lot of notes. Maybe okay. that's not the point. Maybe you're just holding it down. So back to that same chord, because why change it, right? Mm -hmm. That's just, feeling. And that's so but cool. in a mix, right with the whole sure. band, you're uh, holding it down. Especially and people if are like, and people are gonna think a couple things because let's, let's not forget about the ego of a bass player. Oh, always the odd man out. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Always right. So when you're doing that and you're just like you're throwing it down because you're not overwhelming anybody. No, and you're not overplaying. You're playing one thing. Yeah, every bar. Just uh -huh. man in the band. Hopefully the drummer knows what he's doing. Hopefully. Uh huh. And other than that, you're just you're just you're giving the drummer and everyone else space while still like like totally holding it down. Yeah. Da -da -da it's like I'm here to make you all look good. It's just, it's and it just gives you something to do too. Sure. So you're not just You can kind of feel them, yeah. Oh. And it allows you to get in the groove, man. You can mm, I'm so, in the groove right now. I this is so filthy. I need to like book a ticket to Lake Minnetonka mm, right now. Just and and just, purify and just yourself. Get in there. Right. Just purify yourself. I agree. Very simple lick. Don't overthink it. Um, obviously, any questions, I will be very active in this comment. This is, this is a guy. Yeah. Excellent. Huh? You know what else is great about this guy? He just dropped like this hot fire piano album. Mm -hmm. I know. Which has a lot of these concepts in piano form. Can you, can you imagine? Oh, yeah. It's, filthy, sure. it's the filthiest solo piano album I've heard. Absolutely yeah. filthy. Huh? That's, that's high praise from the people you, you. I know the people you listen to, and I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to link you in the comments below. Yeah. Also, like, follow me on Instagram, Cody. I cook. There's oh. a lot of good bass stuff on there, some piano stuff, too. Oh. And I'm pretty active on there. So. Stuff. And just hand some pictures of him just kind of posing across the world. Across the world, yeah. Uh -huh. sure. Yeah, world traveler. Mm. Any questions or comments, hit us up. See you guys.